Ninth, Ooh. as we get a caution, and it's Sam Hornets Jr., who was inside the top five and won this race one year ago, was scored in the third position when he got it turned around and hit the wall. Tough break for Sam. We know how excited he was about this race tonight and how much success oh, that he's man. had here. Got to wonder if maybe there wasn't somebody yeah, inside done. of him with a little bit of contact or something. Yeah, he said it. I, I think we're done. And the last time he drove one of these cars, we didn't have the crash clock, five-minute rule in place. But as you look at that damage. race car, no doubt their evening is over. And, and we don't talk about this a lot, but they came in leading the owner's championship. So successful in 2017. Brad Keselowski won in that car a couple of weeks ago at Pocono. First win for the 22 bunch in 46 races. But unfortunately, problems for Sam. You're on board with the 22 here. That's Christopher Bell, the 20 and right behind him. Well, we see Bell use that top side to get a nice run down into turn one, carrying a lot of momentum. Inside. A little tough to tell. It looks like Bell maybe just slipped up the racetrack just a little bit and, and possibly got cut Sam's left rear in the process of it. It sounded like the tire was down before he made contact with the outside safer barrier. You could hear that flapping already before he even hit the outside wall. Yeah, that flapping's a tire down, but I, I think he had contact to that's cut it, that tire. That's what I mean, before he point. hit the wall, yeah. yeah. See, Christopher Bell was right next to him, so there had to be a little bit of contact there. And you could tell from the from the seams in the racetrack that Sam did not move up into, I mean, did move down into Christopher Bell. Yeah, Sam was holding his line right there. I'd have to, I'd have to think that Bell maybe just slid up the track a little bit. They rubbed fenders, like we talked about early, cut that earlier, cut that left rear tire, and then Sam went around and, and they finished him off. Sam from the car will go to the infield care center. What are they saying in the 20 camp, Caitlin? Well, Christopher Bell came across the radio sound and kind of apologetic. He said, I'm sorry, guys. I just got a little bit free underneath him. That's the latest on him, guys. You don't see much damage from any contact, though, on the 20. Yeah, there's a, there's a little mark. If it wasn't there before, I, I, I thought maybe I saw that earlier, but, but wouldn't rule out that it was from the contact with Sam. Yeah, and sometimes the exhaust pipes can cut, cut down that sidewall on that tire or knock the valve stem out or whatever. It doesn't take a whole lot to cut a tire down. No, it absolutely doesn't. And that part of the corner is a tricky part anyways. These guys are all loose going into turn one. That's what we've talked about all week long is these guys struggling to get into one and keep the cars tight enough. And, and we see Christopher Bell get down just a little bit too much. And Under caution it. for the third time tonight. It's for one of the pre-race favorites. Sam Hornis Jr. is out. William Byron is leading at Iowa. Let's hear from Sam Hornis Jr. He's out of the infield care center. Caitlin? Yeah, not the day he would have liked to have seen. Christopher Bell said he got free underneath you, got a little loose. What were you experiencing in the car? Uh, car was pretty good. Our discount tire Ford Mustang was, uh, you know, getting better. I felt like we were heading the direction that we needed. Uh, I tried to move my line up just a tad bit through three and four, and that allowed the 20 to get a run on me. And it seemed like he just overdrove down the corner, got loose, and, and into us. And it's a shame for all the guys on this car. Um, you know, not the way that I wanted to debut being back here at Team Penske. And um, you know, I've made my own fair share of mistakes, but. Man, I hate being on that end of it and uh, hoping to get the opportunity to come back here and, and run later on this year and uh, you know, also some other races, but uh, it's just not how we want it to go at all. Thank you. Glad you're okay, guys.